In this video, what we're going to be looking at is these great commands that are here, right? Rotate, scale, reflect. So why these great tools? Because they're so powerful inside of Illustrator, you can do lots of things with them. So let's just first look at the regular rotate tool. So the rotate tool does exactly what it says. It rotates my object, which is really great if I need to make this at 45 or whatever I want is there. And you may look at that and go, okay, why is this so great? Well, there's a lot of hidden uh, factors inside of this that Illustrator uses that you wouldn't know just by using that. And it's using the option key. And this function is used also in the reflect and the scale tool also using this, this option as this, this great advantage to us. So I have my square, but let's say I wanna rotate it right from this corner. If I hold down the option key, so a, a couple things that I can do with this, right? So I can hold down the option key and the rotate tool comes up and it says, all right, well, what do you wanna do with this? Let's say I wanna put it at 45. It automatically puts it right at that 45 and I can either say copy or if I do okay, it'll just move my object. Let's say I wanna take that and I wanna move it 45, but I wanna copy it. You can see it made a copy of my object, right? That's pretty neat because then you could take a shape builder, you could use all sorts of things to now cut up that shape and now you have this like perfect shape that's there. If I just wanna take it and rotate it myself, you can see this, radio, this um, radius button is in here. It looks like a little target. I can just simply click on the corner there and now you see I can rotate exactly from that point. So if I wanted to create another copy and move it like that, there is my rotation point, right? Which is a really nice feature to be able to do. So I'm gonna use a circle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my rotate tool, which is R as a shortcut. And I say, you know what? I wanna rotate it right from that section. And you can see now it rotates right from there which is really nice if I need to start to align things. So for example, um, I have a line, right? And now I have, let's grab a rectangle or a square. And I say, you know what? I wanna align these so they're on the same alignment. Well, I'm gonna wait until, right? We're gonna go ahead and join those there. I'm gonna hit my rotate tool, rotate from the corner and you can see now I can align those perfectly, which I know, which is really nice. So let's take a how we let's take a look at how we can use that to our advantage with the scale tool. Well, the scale tool uses the same thing. I can scale right here. If I hold down Shift, it maintains proportions. Why right, it's Illustrator's freaking out. So I can maintain those proportions, or I can just make it bigger. Also, I can scale from the corner. So again, I can scale like that if I want to. I can hold down Option as I scale and it'll make a copy, which is nice. And the same thing in the Rotate tool. You could hold down Option and rotate as well. I could also hold down Option and let's just uh, scale it right from the center. Option, click, and I say, you know what? I want it to be 60% of what I want and I want to copy. Okay, and I could hold down Command D and I can now make those uh, infinitely smaller. So again, let's take a look at that. I have my square and I'm gonna just hit the scale tool, which is S and I'm gonna hit enter. You can see the default is from the center, so I don't need to set it from there. You can see I can hit S and enter and it brings it up. I hit type in 80, hit enter. Ah, I missed, I did one thing wrong. So scale for it says S, enter. 60, that's fine, let's do 80. And then hit copy and then do Command D. And you can see it replicates that same function that we just did, it's called transform again. We'll look at that deeper. So, all right, so we got scale, we have rotate. What does this reflect tool do? Well, this is nice, let's just choose, let's just make kind of an odd shaped object here. I'm gonna take this and my reflect tool, you can see will reflect a mirror image. Now I could go vertically, horizontally, right? You see, that's really nice to be able to just make that copy. 
Now, where there is this advantage is the same way using the option key. So I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm just going to, what do I want to do? I'm going to rotate right from here, right? So if I hold down the option key and click there, this is now where my reflect is going to go from. All right, let's do copy and you can see it made a copy right from that point. What's really nice about that is if I have a square and I do reflect and maybe what I want to do is reflect it you know, kind of on the other side. In fact, let's take, we're gonna take this shape here. And all I wanna do is I wanna reflect it. So now I'm gonna take that, just reflect it. If I hold down the option and drag, I gotta drag it first and then hold option. You can see it's made a copy of it on the other side, which is nice. If I have this, and I hold down reflect, oops, reflect is O, and I hit enter, and I do just do it vertically, make a copy, you can see it's made that copy right in that place, which is nice. I could also take it and reflect it, let's say here's my line that's here, and I wanna reflect it evenly over top of this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that, hit O for reflect, hold down my option key, click on this line and click and do vertical and do copy. And now they're evenly spaced, which is like saves you tons and tons and tons and tons of time, right? So this is a really great tool to use the scale, uh, rotate, reflect using that option key to really manipulate your shapes is a really uh, great function inside of Illustrator.